Good morning. It's Tuesday. covered in uh, thorns and all blackberries but now that apple tree is coming back to life again beautiful nature that we have horses chilling out in the field neighbors are out here gardening as well and listening to classical music man the place is packing today so I'm looking for stuff to do now until Rob arrives but I think I found something see that little pile here I think there's a little more dead stuff to rake. I mean, it would probably not do much, but uh, it's better than doing nothing. So, we're gonna rake some stuff, but not with this rake though. <laughs> Gloves, rake. I think this is a good place for the camera. And action! Whoa. beautiful Tuesday we got today. Let's see if Roland's in the place already. Roland! Let's check out on the porch. Oh, there he is in the garden. Hey, dude. Hey, man. What's going on? It's warm weather, huh? It's beautiful. What are you up to? You got a kid's rake there or what? This is the only rake we have, I guess. The other one's broken and on the iron pile. Uh, it looks like a kid's rake, huh? <laughs> uh. Let me get up to you, man. The new fancy way. Oof. For now, it's still a walk around. But you can finally make use of this ladder. Who's that knocking at my door? Who's that knocking at my door? <laughs> Damn, it's What's dude. up, man? Good seeing ya. It's about to rain, though, man. I can hear the thunder. I can hear the thunder like the rain. Ooh, listen to that. We don't have our whole team with us today, so Ro and I are alone, and we're gonna um, take a walk around the place and tell you a little bit about this vessel room that we're part of, you know? And after that, we're gonna do some window tiling. Finally yeah, fix this. Finish that window tiling. Yeah. We've talked about these gates before. This is how we entered the studio, right through here. Hold on. This door, or this gate, is the only part of the building that is under memorial protection. Technically, you could tear everything down except these gates. Uh, how old is this building? 1884. 1884. 
think in 1884, that's when the St. Louis got the Cardinals. That's a lie. So this building here is the main building. And Roland was talking about uh, the guy who built this building. Yeah, his, his name, name was name Michael was Zaga. Oh, wow. And um, he actually built a lot of state buildings like these. And the railroad from uh, Munich to Wallheim that Marion is using to get here. <laughs> and uh, the railroad from Germany to Bosnia, I think, up till Bosnia. then. Yeah, yeah, so wow. this guy had a lot of big contracts with the state. And um, he was taking care of the cloister, farming-wise, like like all the farming purposes. Yeah. And this was basically the farm for it, the cloister good, you know. Okay, okay. The old one burned down. That was right down the road in that curve. So when they rebuilt it, he said, like, I got a new place and I got a new design. And uh, this is where we're at. It had a different third floor, or actually there was no third floor. Uh, it was like, it had a different roof. Okay. I can show you a picture about that, but... Uh, this building burned in 1960. No, thing? just the upper roof, I think. This is where they used the opportunity to update it, you know, to make more living space. So tell me uh, more about the guy that built this place. He's a... Yeah, kind of. He actually did a lot of building for the government. And this is where what you can see in this building kind of kind of looks like a post office or train station from back in the day. Yeah, maybe you should tell us more about that. With this, I mean, um, people from America, they don't understand what a, what a uh, cluster is. Um, it's kind of like an abbey or what they would have in England, but... You would kind of imagine it as a, as a big farm, as in Texas, you know? Like one farm that would feed like a whole town, kind of. Maybe like kinda. a plantation. Oh, that's, that's probably one of the Inatas, like from her collection, I think. She's uh, got her stuff or like her little workshop in the old chapel. Like this was the old chapel of the place. God is the love. Exactly. I just translated that for you all. <laughs> they don't know any German. It's a cool shield. Yeah. yeah. They're interesting. I wonder where they're from. Yeah, I, I think we the crossed keys is Vesabun. Yeah, with the with the three streams. Because yeah. the uh, three streams, this is actually where they built a cloister. The guy was dreaming of a place with uh, three different fountains. Uh -huh. And he found it next to this big tree at Vesabun, the Tassilo Linde, right okay, down yeah, the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is where he built the cloister. Okay. And this is the farm for the cloister. Wow. I see. So the cloister is kind of like the town. Kinda, yeah. Don't forget the bunny. All about the Benjamins. <laughs> I didn't realize this place was so old. I mean, they changed a lot of things over time, especially the uh, busy road next to it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Big place. <laughs> so now we're walking on the back side of Renata's place. She's got a nice herb garden back here. This is where back in the day they stored all the machines, all the trailers in there. Exactly. Yeah, and repaired them. But now it's pretty much empty. And behind it they had the herb garden. It's halfway in use, kind of. <laughs> so let's head around the other way. Get some other guys I want to show you. The fountain of Vesterbrunn. <laughs> there's only one thing missing. Water. And actually, there's a pump house up the hill that uh, we're gonna go check out in a second. I'll tell you about that, but uh, wouldn't this be amazing to have this back to its former glory? Yeah, something must be broken inside. Mm. But this would be nice, right? We should make a hot tub out of that. So we're gonna show you something really cool. They have a pump up here that would bring water. Okay, they pumped it into the pike up there. That's how they knew the pumps were working. And this is kind of like a gas gauge, I guess, for old school style or what. But the pump, in here, uh, um, it's just a pump from a, from a well or what? Yeah, it was. We had two wells technically back in the day here, one here, and one up there, okay. and both of them would feed the whole place. You would have the water running through the cow stable first, then the side building and the pig stable, and then into the main building. <laughs> this this is a nice anti <laughs> theft <laughs> installment. Old school. They're definitely not active. They break down the steps and lock the door. There's dead bodies in there, I think. Oh, here's a window, but it's sealed, yeah. How many bad things went on in that room? Here's the other pump house. Looks like a bunker to me. <laughs> Kinda, right? Old German bunker. Maybe. Who would know? There's a heart on there, so it must not be. Yeah, it actually looks like a heart. Look at this. So, let's head back down to the real deal and the winner is me 
Yes. So this is currently the cow stables, and they want to move it back to the big house. What are they going to do with this one then? I mean, back in the day, it had sheep in there, and since Astrid has horses in oh. the front part of the cow stable, oh. now she's probably going to convert this into the horse stable then. Nice. Here's the powerhouse, man. Put my speakers on that. Woo! Only in Bavaria, penguins. These are Bavarian penguins. Oh, check this rod. Now this right here. If I had a big old buccaneer pirate ship, this would be right on the front of that. There's also a couple guys down here. This guy's working with wood, and the other guy's working with steel. And this guy, well, I'll let it speak for itself. Some more creations here. Is this from Anna or? Astrid. Astrid, Astrid. and Anna. Astrid and Anna. They're creating all these cool little things. I like them. This one right here is interesting. This wasn't original. They installed it afterwards to be able to store stuff with the tractor up there. Okay. You actually have another big hole in there. Oh. A hall for what? Nothing. Storage. Check these dudes out. I like him. He's cool. There's also uh, these guys over here. Oh, box. Nice. Let's go check out Leo's stuff. They extended the cow stable multiple times because the roof was just as low as the one from the side building here and this building. But then they, they lifted the, the roof back here up once. And this wasn't enough to drive in with the tractor, apparently. So they lifted it up another time put a garage extension on it. But, uh, this stuff is pretty cool looking. It's pretty heavy. This is an interesting piece right here. I could see a fountain or something in there. This would be good for my speakers. Or TV or something. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, there's really cool art around here. And then we also have another um, neon heart. <laughs> the stone cutter. <laughs> yeah. As we go along, we'll get a, a nice interview with him. He's a unique character. He knows his rocks. These are just sculptures that he's made. And here after uh, Leon Hart's studio, we have uh, a couple of apartments for the locals that live in the area. There's a bunch of little kids running around. Sound of laughter in the air, it's always good. So let's take a walk around here. There's uh, something really cool I want to show you. Check this place out. Wow, Roland, what is this? This is part of the old basement. From where? From the basement? This is partially angle deep underwater. Really? Sometimes, yeah, sometimes hey. during the year. <laughs> this is where Oli does, does a lot of pottery stuff. Oh, so he's building pottery? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. There's a lot of artists here, huh? This is the art I'm talking about, <laughs> boy. Check this out. Wow. Tell us about this place. What do we have here? This is for uh, distilling uh, liquor. Schnapps. Yeah. Schnapps. Back in the day, this was the room and place for it. How does this all work? And there you see, it fits 148 liters. 148 liters. Whoa, that's a lot of schnapps, man. <laughs> yeah. 148 liters is the stuff that fits in there. The, uh, I don't know how you call that, the maisha, the, um, the fruits. This is a future project for us. This is just <laughs> next door to our studio. So what would it take to revive this place, man? We got to get a working gas burner, technically, the license, and then we would be ready to go. So, the distillery. <laughs> and then welcome back to our home. We're back to Juicy Roots, back porch. So you want to check out the fixing this window sill today? Yeah. I brought this chair with me. <laughs> it's like I said, watching work. <laughs> I'm just watching. <laughs> now that my pause is over, let's get to work. This is the freezing people, right? Yep, that's the stuff. Let's see, what do we do here? I guess we just need to mix this with some water, or? Yeah. So we're gonna make a take. Verarbeitung. Here. Uh huh. I can read that. <laughs> <laughs> it says water. <laughs> Let's make it happen. So luckily, we don't have to go back to the cow stable to get water. We have our own water source. Wow. We turn it on here. And it comes out there. Since we got the safety uh, installment, we're secure. It fills two buckets if you put Another bucket here. This is efficient. Just gotta look out for the power line. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That should be it. That should be plenty. Otherwise, we have problems. What are we gonna mix this with, eh? Um, there should be a. Not this. <laughs> Wait. Not this. <laughs> ah, but this. Yeah, this looks much safer. <laughs> so, We've gotta have a. Yeah. This one with the water bubble. We make it level. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. We're gonna do the mix. I don't only mix audio. <laughs> I don't only mix barbecue sauce. <laughs> you also mix freezing cleaver. Freezing cleaver. That's tile glue. So one kilo, which is the fifth. Something like that. <laughs> Bing. So, just like the cake, man. I wouldn't want to eat this cake, though. You want to come look at this consistency? I think we're close. One of my buddies taught me this trick. Like if you take this shovel, and it sticks to it, you're in a good place. There we go, back at it. So, let's go do the job now. <laughs> do you have the level with you? Yep. I'm gonna like bring off some of this debris here. Okay, let's do the tile job. It's a beautiful broom, eh? Yes. <laughs> what kind of witch was riding that thing around? Start out with a healthy bit of... It's kind of like puss, isn't it? Feels like it's a little sticky or something. Yeah, pretty good. Nice. I don't even know what they call it in English. How about that? Okay. All right, so here's the leveler. That's no, it. That's a rubber hammer. No problem with this guy right here. So, check that out. Wanna see something cool? Boom. 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 So everything's level, we're ready to rock. We're gonna let this dry for what, 24 hours or what? I don't know, we're gonna check in a couple minutes again as long as the spacing is looking pretty good. much even. Yeah. Sweet. And we have a line here. Good effects. So, on to the next thing, eh? <laughs> do the wash. I would oh. do it here. So, it's very important to keep clean, man. So, here we go for the fun part. I need some gloves, I think. I like your boxers, man. Thanks. <laughs> We're gonna go check on the talent that we did earlier. See that it's all okay. Make sure I don't run into something backwards. <laughs> yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Wow. You could actually sit a beer on there and it wouldn't even fall off or spill over or anything like that. And the lights are on. Window tiles are done. Found it this is. time. Yes. And they're good. level. Looking good. <laughs> Next week we're gonna have some new projects coming up. So today you only saw some raking and um, we, we hope you now know a little bit more about the place and, and, and kind of what we're doing up here. Mm -hmm. And um, the window tiles are done. So I think that's enough for today. Yeah. Stay good. Till next Tuesday.